Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle Forthwin and welcome back to another episode of Race to Prestige here on Modern Warfare 3. This is episode number 6 and in the last episode we got ourselves to level 31 and today we are actually doing a bit of a different episode because I wanted to play the new zombies mode here within Modern Warfare 3 and since you rank up by playing zombies here in this game I kind of have to include this in the series if we're going to um, play this mode without getting to level 55 and I didn't really want to wait that long since I think that it'll be kind of irrelevant at that point um, So I'm really really excited to jump into this especially because we are going to be leveling up our uh, GG 58 Because this is the first weapon that we're going to be completing in the um, Road to <clears throat> In the road to interstellar camo so I thought that we would play this and get it leveled up so that we don't waste any challenges or anything like that so i just hope you guys to enjoy this next episode and i will see you guys all in the game all right guys welcome welcome to modern warfare zombies operation deadbolt now again i have not played this before this is my very very first time ever playing this mode and it is very 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 dmz Okay. Oh my god, I'm about to die already. I literally have been playing this mode for about of three seconds and I'm about to die. Oh my goodness. So, clearly I need to be very careful. Because you're a little bit squishy in this game mode, apparently. Yeah, I've heard that this is a very, very good way to um, level up weapons. So hopefully we can stay alive long enough to actually get some decent leveling here. But, yeah, again, I am going to also be doing a series where we get all of these zombies camos here in this game. Go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, getting getting the zombie camos here in this game isn't necessarily very difficult. Um, I think all it takes is to like, I mean, there's there's a list of challenges. Obviously, I can't remember all of them off of off the top of my head, but yeah, still shouldn't be very difficult. So let's see what this secret hidden stash was that was was spoken of. So we basically have forty five minutes. Or so to exit. Okay, there's a wall by. Uh, we currently only have 185 essence. So you, so do you get essence by by killing zombies or? Oh, okay. So, obviously, we probably don't want to go here um, at the moment because that would be very, very difficult. So, I guess what we will do is... Let me go ahead and zoom into here. And we will go for this guy. Delete pings. Marking contract. Okay. Beautiful. And we'll also Vehicle marked. ping that as well. And we will head over to that area. And... Go ahead and complete that contract. So it seems to me like this is a very good, I mean, this is a chill mode, I guess. Something's shooting at me. Target's gun really 
Okay. Guess who's over there by the mystery box? I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I guess we'll find out the hard way. If it is a good idea or not. It's still in a low threat zone, so I think we'll be okay. But before but let's let's be smart about it. Let's go up here first. Just just make sure that we're okay. Locate the mimic and eliminate it. There it is. Okay. Careful. Careful. I'm about to die. Must be so careful, man. Holy crap. Luckily, this thing can't get up here. It's kind of nice. Oh, yes, he can. Dang, this is intense. Maybe I should have gotten some perks. Trying to get it from long range. Where is he? Ow. Happens if we hit him. Did it do any damage? I'm not sure if it did. Back up, back up, back up. Can okay, get that armor in. Oh, that's huge. Where'd that mimic go? Nice, we got him. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Alright, let's go ahead and grab our reward. Oh, man. Pack a bunch of weapon level 1. Let's go. Self-revive kit. Let's go. Um, We'll replace that. And we have an uncommon ether tool. Go. Uh, red. Red is more like it. Now you have more firepower. You should consider patrolling deeper into a higher threat zone. Beautiful man, that is huge. Okay, so there's a pack a bunch machine. PhD flopper. 
I'm looking for Jug. That's what we really need right now. Or a buy station, right? A buy station is how we get all that stuff. Infested Stronghold. Mystery Box. Elemental Drop. There we go, buy station. Um, let's go ahead and ping that. It's only... 300 meters away. Beautiful, man. This has gone. This has been going well so far, and it is pretty fun. Again, it only is a little bit stressful at times. For the most part, though, it's, it's mainly just for, it's just fun. So it's gonna take a while to, to you know get all the camos for all the weapons, but it'll be fine. And again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna show a full series or not of this, but I definitely I'll definitely at least do a couple of episodes. Nice. I'm reloading. And having a pack a bunch weapon is so nice. Alright, let's head over to the spy station here. And sell. Okay, we're up to 3,300. Okay, let's see if we can find our way to Jug. Um, if Jug is even in these areas, which I'm not even sure if they are. I think it would be nice if you could... PhD Flopper... Death perception. And these things are difficult to find. Okay. Like, I wish you could just be like, I want to find a perk. Elemental pop. There's another contract. I wonder why it says complete a contract when we did complete one. It's interesting. Ether nest. I cannot find jug. PhD flopper. Speed. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if I was a jug, where I where would I be hiding? Oh, there you are. A nice 1,000, 1,800 meters away. Fantastic. Well, let's ping, ping a vehicle. vehicle this is one marked. back here behind me. But let me go back over to the other side of the map. Okay. I'll just leave my mini map there so we know exactly where that is. That is very far away. So let's go ahead and head on over there. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this video down. Normally, I do that with every single video that I make. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do that with this one. I may not do any edits. I may do some. Like, this would probably be a good time to edit um, because of how far away of a drive it is. But we could, what we could probably could do, though, is we probably could... Um, Okay, I do, I do need to be kind of careful because we're in a high, in, in a medium threat zone. But we're not going to be in there for too long.
What? Um, are you kidding me? Well, guys, that was a horrendous fail. I apologize for that. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know what happened there. Or why I couldn't self-revive. That was very, very strange. Um, I definitely don't even want to show this gameplay because it was... But I'm going to anyways because I have to. It's part of the series. But yeah, not sure about that one there, guys. But um, the zombies mode is fun. I just made a dumb mistake. Pretty much that simple. I should not have done that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the zombies mode here within Modern Warfare 3. It's okay. You know, I would have... I definitely would have preferred a round-based zombie mode, but that's just me. That's what I prefer, so of course I would have preferred that. But this isn't too bad, I guess. Just, again, I think it would have been more fun if this mode was a round-based map. But I'll, I'll continue to play it. Of course, as I said, we're going to go for all of the zombie camos, and that's obviously going to take a while, and it's something that I really want to do. So we'll, we'll definitely be playing more of this, but yeah, that's going to do it for my intro to this game mode. I just, I'm, I'm bummed because we did a stupid mistake. And when that happens, I'm, I'm just mad about it. But it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this next episode. If you did enjoy it, all I can do is always appreciate to check out any of my other previous episodes of this series. They will all be linked down below in the description. As well, they will also be at the end of the video for as well. I'll see you all on another Call of Duty video very soon.